So this morning, Rachel, the kids and I planted our potato patch. In there are eight seed potatoes and we're hopefully in a few months gonna be getting uh, a bunch of potatoes, a wonderful harvest of yummy potatoes for us to eat. But we've gotta be patient. And we might have to wait a few months before those potatoes uh, come out. And so I thought I would take this moment to share with you uh, some other thoughts that I had on patience from this weekend sermon. And one of the themes that kept coming up in my studies was how the Bible, and particularly the stories of the Old Testament, are there to teach us patience. For example, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. That word perseverance is a, a patient, a long suffering word. And the encouragement to persevere comes from being surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, which in Hebrews 11, we see stem from Adam and Eve to Noah, to Abraham, to Moses, to Daniel in the lion's den, all the saints and prophets of the Old Testament. We also see in James chapter five, uh, James says something similar. He says, brothers and sisters, and as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Again, as an example of patience, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord, the prophets of the Old Testament. And another one in Romans 15, verse four, it says, for everything that was written in the past, again, speaking of the Old Testament, was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. Through the endurance, through the patience taught in the scriptures, we might have hope. And so what I want to encourage you with today is that this book, the Bible, the stories of the Old Testament, one of their main purposes is to teach us patience to teach us to wait for the Lord to work for example uh, today we were reading the kid this to the kids the story of Samson and his story starts when Israel has been under the rule of the Philistines for 40 years 40 years they were ruled by another nation in their own land 40 years and then God raised up Samson to deal with the problem that's patience, that's endurance, that's perseverance, that's long suffering. But God always comes through. So let me encourage you today to pick up your Bible, open up the Old Testament, read one of the stories in there and see how it teaches you about patience today. Thanks for watching.